I will follow you on that. There we go. Okay. Jimmy How are you? Hello, oh, Jimmy. So, I remember. You? Nice seeing you. All right. <laughs> go ahead. I've been reading the book. I bought it. I good. Think, this is not a free copy. Good. I paid for it with my good. American Chris card. Very good. <clears throat> Mr. Trump, you said your image now is better because of television. Why do you think that is? Well, The Apprentice has been such a tremendous hit, Jimmy, and it's been, you know, it's the number one show in so many markets, and it finished off last year as the number one show on television, and it's just been a great hit, and I guess it's made me more popular. I talked to George. He ate at your restaurant downstairs today, and people were all over him. Almost he couldn't eat. But he told me later, he said, I enjoy it. He says, I like the attention. Well, You're he's become a star after all these years. It really is. Do you like, I mean, do you wish there was kind of an on-and-off switch for some of this fame? I'd love it. If I could have that, that would be the ultimate. I like it, but, you know, 100% is a lot. And the show has just become such a big hit, such a big success, that if I walk out the street, it's like a mob scene. So it's not that easy, Jimmy, and it's not something that I relish all the time. It's a lot of fun 50% of the time, but 100% of the time, it's, it's pretty much... Now, I read in here, and I don't think you like it, but someone called you the Elvis of business. I think you may have laughed for five seconds and it said, don't call me the Elvis of business. I love Elvis. I, I loved Elvis. So anytime they call me Elvis, I'm happy about it. Self-promotion. Uh, I think a lot of people would, I mean, as I walk around town, your picture, I don't know if you've even noticed it, it's everywhere. It's on little uh, stand at Times Square. It's in a picture of a makeup store. It's everywhere. Good or bad thing? Well, I, I don't know. You know, I've always felt, and it sounds a little crazy, but... There's really no such thing as too much uh, exposure or overexposure, as they say. And, you know, there'll be times when it's a little bit calmer. Right now, because of the success of the show, it's a little crazy, and I'm doing very well in real estate, as you've been reading, and it's been sort of a hot world for me. But there'll be times when it's slower and it won't always be like this. So I'm having fun with it. Uh, again, because of what's happened with the show, the picture seems to be everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, George and Carolyn said they don't ever get stage fright. Uh, I was a little surprised at that. Are you, you said you're a lot more comfortable now in the second year. Was there a little growing here as far as getting used to being on television? It's not as easy as it looks. Well, it's not as easy, and I think we all got better as time went by, and I think that's why we're doing so well. Number two is terrific, and number three is being shot right now, and I think we get a little bit more comfortable, and that's why we're doing so well. But the bar is raised so high now. The bar is very high, and the competition is very strong, and yet we continue to dominate in so many different things. So uh, it's been just a lot of fun. And, you know, as long as The Apprentice stays so successful, I'll keep doing it. Real quick, I bought your book today, and I saw a picture of my friend in here, Garth Brooks. Oh, he's you have great. some Nashville associates over time. Larry Gatlin's lived in this building. Right. Garth right. Brooks. Well, well, Larry's a friend, and Garth is a friend, and they're great guys, and they're great talents, and I love their music. But you never come to see us. And you never bought a building there. Well, actually... Steinbrenner even has a building and a business there. Oh, really? Well, that's good. He had a rough night last night. Yes, he did. We love him, but it was a rough night. Yeah. Mm. All right, let's do our promo. Okay. Yeah, Steinbrenner has a barge company there or something like that. Oh, really? Is yeah. It? How new is this? Like, really new? It just came out. If you could promote it, that's great. Okay, we will. You know, this guy really is fascinating. You've seen him so much on television. He sort of is like he is on TV. He's not pretending too much. He, he hams it up a little bit for the television, but I kind of liked him. I know he'd be hell to work for, but he's just someone who doesn't tolerate a lot of people making mistakes. On the next YouTube clip that'll be next to this one, I'll give you a tour of Trump Plaza. Fascinating place on Fifth Avenue in New York.